Optimally, you know. Well, this is for top eight at Evo. Yeah, man. a lot on the line here for both players. Oh, and he misses, misses. It, misses the back wow, air. Wow, that might, oh my. Oh, God. but this is oh, <sighs> so close from Silent Wolf. You just have to exhale in that yeah, in that man. kind of situation, man. All right. <sighs> Silent Wolf. These players' hearts must be racing just right now. Just crazy good stuff happening. Oh, okay, raw raw side B. I have like a, an in-depth kind of note that I'll do. Oh, okay, I'm okay. smashing this crazy. Tied up, Silent Wolf and Leffen 1-1. One, one. But I want to say, Leffen was shielding at the ledge, at the edge of one of the platforms. Uh -huh. Silent Wolf had the choice to those a box. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Leffen missing the shiny wave dash. So she's just running sometimes. Yeah, that, that Leffen is playing so safe. Uh-oh. We might see Silent Wolf at top eight of EVO? Who knows, man. I mean, right now it's looking like it. Will right it be now, Leffen? Will it be Silent Wolf? Levin playing so That's safe, it. but this might be it. That's oh, the back air is done! And Silent Wolf taking it over to Levin to make top eight. We will see Silent Wolf tomorrow oh my on Loser's Ray. Side. Since I joined TSM, there's been a lot more fans and there's been, a lot, there's been the TSM chance. I never used to have any chance at all, and especially at CEO there were a lot. But I also think that was kind of because uh, I was playing against Amada so they didn't have the USA chant to share against me on. Um, there's been a couple of people now that have worn the TSM jacket and you see, you, you see a lot of supporters and a lot of people ask for the wristbands and there's always people coming in my stream chat who just say, I'm from TSM, really happy they picked you up, and, st and stuff like that. It's way more noticeable now that if I sit down and play at a setup, there's usually people watching, and I kind of just have, have to get used to that. But overall, it's been a very positive experience. He's not entering now, but what, what, what no. it was that like, he didn't enter in time, and then was like, I don't want to enter. Yeah. And they asked him like the day after, like, do you still want to enter? And I was like, yeah, no. And then they were like, yeah, let's enter him, like, way later. Because yeah. he didn't have any problem with his time for one day. I was like, yeah, I'll enter. And he would be entered in random seating. And, like, just destroy the bracket and, like, fuck, every, fuck all the brackets up. But then, eventually, he decided not to. Like, no one else could register late. So they just, like, gave a special treatment for some reason. But, yeah, then his hands started hurting, and so he didn't want to play. Is that the yeah. only one in TSM that actually wins? Yeah. Levin? No but I did really badly when you guys did good. Big fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they're what, practicing. For Evo? Yeah. yeah. Who do you practice with in America? Different people. You know, McD and then a couple other guys. But McD plays Peach, like, how does Wait, he help you? Mango's not on a bracket. How come we're not practicing with Mango? Uh, Mango was in Tennessee. I'm going to Mango's later today. Uh huh. Okay. Does it help you if like you're playing different chink or like? Yeah, it still helps. Not as much though. Like if I if I had like other people, I'd play them. I, I've played another guy too. Like I just play locals because SoCal's the best region. Anyway. I'm less scared of hungry box to be honest with you. Wow. I think people have been run foxes have been running hungry box so close. Uh, the, the thing is, Hbox would I clutch it out? Leffen did it before Leffen was even in contention for top ten. Leffen, uh, Armada fighting back. Wow. Last okay. stock. Two to one, Leffen. Grand Finals. Wow, Leffen stage. To... Look at all the stage control Leffen has. Yeah, Armada trying to find a way in. Ooh, gets clipped. Oh my! Beautiful forward, forward smash. smash. That's Edgar's gonna be situation. It. I don't know if Armada can make it back. I don't think so, dude. That's and it. Leffen and takes Leffen his takes first tournament. U.S. Major, cementing his status as a top player. Yep, absolutely, dude. He's earned it. Leffen with two convincing victories over Armada at this tournament. And not even getting sent to losers. Going into CEO, I didn't really uh, study my pl the players enough. And I didn't really, you know, try to analyze them to the very detail. But that was because I saw CEO as, you know, one of the warm-up tournaments for EVO. And I was like, 
I'll do my absolute best to win, but then I'll try to fix all the problems that I discovered through CEO. But instead, it turns out that it ended up going really well, and I only had one close set, and that was against Plop in best of three. Other than that, I pretty handily beat Armada. I ended up playing Mango because he lost to Shroom, but I beat Shroom really, uh, really badly too. And yeah, I just ended, it was my first real major win, and I was really happy about it. After that, uh, I felt like, you know, regardless of what happens, I, I can still look back at this trip, the, this month-long trip, and feel okay with it, even if I lose every tournament from now on, because at least I won my first major. This is so embarrassing, what? I'm so embarrassed right now. This is so embarrassing. I look like a thief. <laughs> oh Jesus. Look at this, I'm crying. This is the Paris. No, this is Miracle Mile. What? This is Miracle Mile. So for this tournament, uh, I had a slump in the spring. So I went back and tried to review how I practiced and how I thought about the game. And what it came down to to me was that you should, I really try to have a routine. Uh, back home I try to play around six hours at least. And it, sometimes there were more and oftentimes it was less. But I just try to keep a steady like play every day routine. And as well as to look up matches and review VODs and such. And then uh, my biggest training has honestly been just traveling to America. Uh, I've been here for almost a month now and going to three different tournaments. And I also stay with Armada, so we practice a lot and all the players uh, I stay with, we always played a lot. So since the competition in Sweden isn't as good, um, uh, traveling to America definitely helped me prepare a lot more for the tournament. So last year's EVO, I I think I worked 50 or 60 hours at a grocery store in preparation and I was exhausted by the time I got to EVO. Uh, I just flew in like a days before the event and just went straight to the tournament. I didn't really study my, study my opponents well enough, I didn't really have time to either but I did the best I could but it all ended up just being too much and I was too mentally exhausted to like be able to stand the pressure I feel. And my mindset was just in the gutter at the, at the time. Uh, this year's EVO, I'm trying really hard to just keep a healthy mindset and to have a good routine when playing, prepare more, but not to over prepare or over exert myself so that I don't have a clear mindset or I don't feel like I don't have any energy to bring out by the time EVO comes around. Because the days are really long and you do have to stay warmed up for a really long time, like amounts of time. And since it's best of three, you can't really take one game and just, oh, well, it's only one game. You have to go in with full power right off the start every match. And just in general, I've improved a lot since last EVO. Um, last EVO, I still lost to Mewtwo King, which I've beaten three times in a row now. Uh, I also lost to Silent Wolf, which uh, in the Fox Ditto, which is a matchup I was known to be awful at. And right now, I'm probably seen as the best in the world at it. So that has changed a lot. And in general, I just feel a lot better at the game. And I also feel like I have a more mature view of how you should compete and how you should prepare for an event.